Hello, and welcome back for part 29 of the Von Karstein Lord and Hero Only campaign. So over the end turn, Manfred ambushed a stack on Force March from Ostermark, and before the end turn was over, these two armies from Ostland also Force March right in front of us. So, pretty clear plan of action is to take them out. Uh, we were heading up to try and take out um, Betchafen. Uh, I'm not sure we'll have enough movement after fighting the battle, but we'll see. At least on Force March, so we only have to fight one battle. So I guess I will start by taking the rank ups from the end turn. And what are we looking at for Manfred? Yeah, so having already spent points on Lore of Death, I guess the question is whether I also want to spend points on Lore of Vampires. I mean, he does have Lore Master of Vampires, so he's better at casting those spells than just Necromancers. That would also get him up towards stuff like Arcane Conduit. So let's count here. So that would be 1, 5, 6, 10, 11 points. So, 29. Yeah, he'd be level 29 when he finished that. If I wanted him to get Lightning Strike, 30, 31, 32. That leaves him 9 points for... Or 8 points for... This line. Yeah, I think that's all fine. I will prioritize going for Lightning Strike, though, I think. Everyone else in his army just kind of levels up following the normal pattern I've been going for. Lots of these vampires are reaching, you're getting close to immortality, which is very nice. And this necromancer really has everything I need. I guess boost income. Quite nice picking up Immortal Will on these Shadow Vampires because that's a kind of a powerful self-heal if uh, if they need it. Okay, you're just working with the death. And you can go for magical reserves. Nice. Okay, let's have a quick look at these two armies. We have to fight both of them together. Not likely. Which is fine. Your wish, we can bring in master. this necromancer to help and also let's see my over here is a too far away I guess Do you need sure all right so just this necromancer Darkness comes. Find me pits. What? okay so this army here not. yeah warrior priest captain and the general and Witch Hunter, but then only cross, one unit crossbowman, one unit huntsman, and Hulstorm rocket battery, so really not much there at all. Then this army has another warrior priest and captain, great swords, huntsman, it's kind of a weird mix of... There's a lot of artillery here actually, it's funny. Just thinking about how to go about um, making the attack. I'll so one possibility is to make the attack against this army. This army will appear as reinforcements either right behind us or to our flank, and we should be able to turn around and take them out um, before fighting the main army. I think that looks good. I don't imagine we'll have too much trouble with this. I'll have to be careful with Manfred on his zombie dragon, just you know because of stuff like the cannons and missile units, but that's okay. 
None shall win. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's really annoying. I didn't realize I'd have to go all the way round. Okay, well, there goes my chances of attacking Betchaf in this turn. Yeah, that's my bad. I should have just checked on the I campaign map where the combat arrow would take me before moving. Yeah, I mean, you normally can't move through enemy zones of control, but I feel like there's usually an exemption for that when you're making an attack. Okay, well, that's that's fine. No problem. I'll attack Betchaf for next turn. Kill them. Raise them. Yeah, if I'd done that the other way around, I might have I've had enough movement to uh, do both in one turn. But not to worry. Yeah, so the plan is to take out the reinforcements first, especially their sing their single entities. I mean, these are actually kind of dangerous. Uh, the massed great swords we can deal with relatively easily with magic. Um, most of these other units aren't too dangerous. Yeah, I think this will be, a, be okay. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, so as I was kind of saying, the enemy reinforcements are coming in here, so we can just deploy right over here and essentially get right on top of them. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I'm not quite awake this morning, I guess. So, who has Arcane Conduit? Let's just group everyone together. The living will join us! Vampire! Your desire? What? Vampire! Life is a phase. Vampire! Noble of the night! Vampire! Blood frenzy! Vampire! Crush the breather! Alright, so it's all of you. What do you have? Staff of Damnation. Okay. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. The dead are mine. Necromancer. Oh, you have, yeah, you have that too. Okay. Um, right. Manfred has the sort of stone and the dragon breath. Yep. I mean, we basically start right on top of uh, these units like I wanted. All life must end. What are these? Crossbowmen. Okay, that's fine. Maybe should have tried harder to catch their uh, characters over this way, but not to worry. I serve me. The gift. Try and catch a switch into a spurse since he's right here. Yeah, the hero's on foot. I think we can outrun what of them also being on force march. And all we really need is to get into right off the battlefield. Although this guy, I think, is likely to just get instead of killed. Yeah, he's he's not coming back. Okay, go for the crossbowmen. Well, this this almost worked how I wanted. I think uh, the fact that a couple of their characters were on horseback let them make it out. The but we don't have at least a small piece of their army completely for free.
Okay, I think let's just have Manfred and a dragon chase after them, make sure they shatter. No need to use Arcane Conduit or anything yet, we've obviously got a load of magic power reserve here. I think something I should try is having high level Necromancers on on a normal horse, like not one of the corpse carts, but a nightmare, so that they're quite mobile and don't actually get involved in the fighting at all, because the lower level Necromancers can provide the regeneration aura, which is kind of all they're here for. All right, they're off the battlefield. Great. Manfred's getting tired out, but he can recover no problem. Okay, that artillery is doing a little bit of damage. Okay, and they're shattered. Alright, let's leave that. Yeah. That is... ouch. That is the thing with this army, is they do have... They do have a lot of that artillery. And there's not much most of my vampires can do other than sort of just rush at them and take a few volleys. Okay, let's let Manfred get healed back up. Drop invocation. I think I might try having Manfred and the dragon as a bit of a distraction and. Yeah, have the rest of my characters on foot walk up from the front. Oh wow, they're almost in range right here. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of healing. In principle, if characters get too badly hurt, they can we can you know pull them out and leave them behind. Especially the necromancers. We don't need like the necromancers kind of in the battle just to gain extra experience. We don't need their fighting abilities. So I'll do what I said. It's too bad that this dragon isn't that that, that fast. It's one disadvantage over the um, winged nightmare. For sure. Yeah, so they're going to redeploy and fire at Manfred. I think I continue just flying like slightly perpendicular here rather than straight at them. It's the Hellstorm rocket batteries for long range, I think. And maybe the Great Cannons, too. I'm pretty sure the Mortars do very little damage to the Dragon. Okay, he's actually gotten pretty close. Oh, I see. They're firing at my other troops. Mm, that's probably less good for me. Still don't do too much damage, though. Let's see if I can get the Dragon Breath down on the rocket battery. I assumed that everything would sort of swing around to focus on Manfred, but it's not come out that way. Alright, now there's more of their stuff firing here, that's okay. Yeah, need to be a bit careful of the enemy heroes here. There's still at least, I reckon there's four to five of them even alive. Okay. Gonna be taking small arms fire here also. Them. Had an opportunity for wind of death there, but then it kind of went. Well, if they keep firing into 
melee, they are certainly going to be hitting their own soldiers. Yeah, although what I said about characters is certainly going to be true here. Let's actually get Manford into this combat, I think. We really need to take out their heroes and Lord. Manfred's an even bigger target when he's sitting still, actually. Yeah, I'm not happy with how that's going. Yeah, Manfred's taking too much damage. He just needs to get out of there. Alright. We're doing we're doing okay otherwise. Just lots of lots of damage done to the necromancers, but I do have enough healing to fix them up. Yeah, starting to hit the healing cups there. Yeah, this is like we're fighting against Dryger, it's the single entities on the enemy on the enemy side that are actually um, really problematic. This guy's already hit the healing cap already, it's not great. I think we want a pit of shades in here, maybe. We are immortal. Mm, didn't actually cast it. We are the new order. Free to natural. Well, they're, they're insisting on dropping artillery fire on their own soldiers, which I'm still fine with. Routing their troops there. Manfred's drawing their fire again, which is okay, but he's low enough, I don't really want him to take more damage. Alright, we've broken all their stuff that we were fighting. Yeah, I think we've we've broken at least almost all of their heroes, heroes and lords. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, let's try and get some extra magic down, start dealing with these missile troops. I don't think we'll have to kill too many more before they get the army loss penalty, but hard to tell. Okay, great swords coming back in. Let's take out them. Oh, that's a unit. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a unit of, uh, Outriders. I thought it was troops on foot. For Isabella! <laughs> yeah, I guess what we... It's not even clear how we go about chasing down these missile units. I guess I just go after the ones on foot and try to catch them. They've kind of deployed their kind of well here in the sense that they've spread their artillery out a bit. Alright, I guess I can split up two. Oh, this, yeah, this is great. I've not got a good mix of vampires and necromancers.
Okay. Let's see. At least the artillery. Yeah, the great cannon and Hellstone rocket batteries can't run away, whereas the silly war wagons can. So can the outriders. Yeah, we're just. We're not going to catch anything over here. Most of their army is routing, although the war wagons are not. Yeah, don't. We're choosing our grasp. Okay, yeah, we are. We are getting there. It's just a bit of a slug. Okay, I'm seeing leadership dropping now. I think we've got them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was tough. I didn't lose anybody, but I did take a lot of damage, and I'm not going to be able to fully re uh, heal it up. Let's try and get some more healing on Manford, though. I can do that. Our time is now. Really weird enemy army composition. Um, it was actually a lot more effective against me than I thought. Yeah, it's actually not a bad thing that we get to um, take a turn's rest before going after uh, the city, Betchafen. I think this was all of Oslin's troops, though. It's kind of funny that they brought them down south to attack me because they've got other enemies up the north. But so it goes with the AI sometimes. Yeah, just waiting for Manford to hit that healing cap. Yes, awake, minions. There we go. Yeah, that two eight five was that one wind of death that cleared up a lot of their infantry at the beginning. I th I thought that would be. Yeah, I guess I thought that that would uh, swing things faster and the army would route sooner, but it goes to show that the like the ammunition is a big part of the balance of power on the artillery and missile units. Anyway, we got through it. We'll get reasonable amounts of replenishment of the... Oh, no, hold on. We won't get replenishment over the end turn. Uh, it should still be fine. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't have a good option other than taking money, which is fine. Alright, so those armies are completely gone. So, yes, we're in enemy territory, so we're not getting replenishment, but we're also not taking attrition. Destroy them. Because there's so much vampire corruption just built up here uh, already. Okay, so let's head up towards Lightning Strike Manfred. Oh, I should have... yeah. I forgot I was going to try putting that guy on a horse. No, no worries. So, immortality on this vampire. Yeah, discipline, that's a very good trait. She definitely gets immortality. And you've hit the level cap. Knowledgeable, another great trait. Never disciplined, yeah. Yeah, I think the vampires in Manfred's army all have pretty good traits, if I recall correctly. Okay, so we'll go into this next battle a little, a little damage. I'm, I think that's fine though. We don't have to use all my. Yeah, I don't have to use all my. Uh, like, I don't have to use my necromancers in melee combat against the uh, troops in in the city. Okay. 
what else is going on here? So the griffin wood we lost, though that's fine. It was just proving too expensive to hold, so I just abandoned it. We didn't concede it to an enemy, which is good. We didn't get Dryker back somehow, so that's all fine. Yeah, so there's sort of a border now. Sterland, Ostermark. I haven't got any territory in um, Telebeckland, which is fine by me. We're not actually at war with Reichland yet, or Visenland. The plague going through the South of the Empire still just hanging on. We did actually have the plague for a few turns in Aberheim, but it didn't do any real damage to us. Alright, Borash got rank 14, just from the little experience characters get every turn, I guess. And he's working on his magic. Okay, that's right. So, yeah, so Vlad and Isabella were coming down here to take out Zafar. And it looks like if I force march, I can get basically to the border of Drakenhof territory. Yep. Let's just see if I can... Yeah, because the distance I care about is Vlad. Oh, he could easily make that attack even without force march. Okay, let's not force march then. Yeah, I probably left this decision too late, but it would be actually kind of nice to get uh, a Borish up to support. Um, yeah, he's not going to make it for next turn, is he? This it just takes too long to cross the mountains here. Okay, in that case, let's just have him stay here in the south, because I don't have anyone covering like territory out here, for example. Yeah, with that in mind, let's just go ahead and... Start making our way up towards Averheim. Public order here will drop, but I've built up enough of a buffer that that's fine. I will alone. Okay, just finish moving heroes and lords before thinking about spending some money. So we can make this attack next turn. We're not at war with them yet, but no need to declare war on them until we're ready to actually attack. This necromancer. Yeah, it kind of makes sense for him to be in an army. I've only got one necromancer with Isabella. Who shall we destroy? Yeah, let's have him wander back over this way. What do I want to do with him? I think probably just missile resistance. What do the dwarves actually have here? So yeah, long slayers. No, uh, long beards. Sorry. Oh, they don't. Okay. So they're able to recruit long beards, but they still have a lot of low tier troops. Got quite a few quarrelers. The dwarf warriors are not very dangerous though. And the city itself. Tier four. Okay. Nice to take this. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was higher tier, and I'd take it at tier four, but that's fine. Long beards. Yeah, alright. Nothing spectacular in the garrison, I think. We'll have to figure out exactly how we want to handle this in terms of lightning striking an army outside the city versus um, just a single, like, all-out assault, but figure that out next turn. Yeah, that's not looking too difficult, I think. I really haven't had a hard time with the most of the dwarf army is they're so vulnerable to the uh, the magic. All right. So who are you actually at war with? Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. Clan Spittle. Okay, that's probably where the plague came from, I guess. And Crooked Moon. Okay. See so if I can get this necromancer to discover Crooked Moon just to see, just to get some sense of how strong Skarsnik is. I doubt he has much territory.
Alright, this net commence is kind of just keeping an eye on things up this way. It's very unfortunate having to share this Ostermark region with Skaven, because I'm going to take Betchafen. I guess we could probably maintain corruption okay, but... Yeah, too bad I couldn't grab Nagenhof too. Oh well. I will not betray you. The great horned rat favors Mimi. Together we seek your, your demise. Yeah, I think longer term we'll have some kind of conflict with this the Skaven, works. but I'm not really in a rush to go for it currently. Alright, my last hero is the White King up this way. Yes. Alright, so this is some more of the territory us to. Um, Ostland have, but no troops here. Oh, they have Wolf Wolfenberg and... Okay, they have the whole of this region. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so there'll be a decision once I take um, Oster Mark out as to whether to go after Ostland further or just kind of leave them to their other enemies. Do not waste my time with petty talk. Oh, is any kind of Mulder attacking done. them? Yeah, I have a hard time keeping track of who's at war with who. I, for some reason, I thought that they were at war with Throg's faction, but I guess they were at war with the Varg before they were confederated or something. Anyway, w yeah. I mean, this kind of confirms that we did take out yes. their armies. Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. It's too bad they don't want a peace treaty. I wouldn't mind making peace with them. How are the dwarves? Kraz correct. Now they're still strong. Do yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they absolutely hate us. Look at that. Deteriorating to minus 457. They've got a lot of other enemies, though. I don't think they're going to get any sort of foothold back here in the north with the Skaven. If anything, they might lose territory down the uh, east side of the mountains here. Yeah, not sure what's going to happen with Karakadrin. Obviously it's a major settlement, so I'd like to just keep hold of it, but it's going to be tricky if the Skaven have the rest of the province. Okay, speaking of which, let's look at whether I can do any building. I'm go I don't have any troops nearby the Skaven army. I'm assuming they're not actually here to attack me and they're just wandering through, but who knows. If I lose, if I lose anything up here, it's not a great loss. Um, but my assumption is that they're just going somewhere else, they're not going to attack. So with that in mind, yeah, public order minus 50% penalty due to presence of lack of corruption. I think we need this. And I think that upgrade would be good too, although it's pretty expensive. Yeah, so public order is tanking here. Desolation next turn only. Okay, so that 5 goes away. Minus 1 uncertainty. Yeah, it's the corruption that we really need to sort out. Right. Yeah, so this won't actually be a rebellion in four turns because... I'll get an extra four points from the faction. That five points of desolation will go away. That three points of uncertainty will go away. So I'll actually end up being only at minus eight, and I can turn the taxes off to go down to minus four, but I don't need to turn the taxes off right now. Okay, Valdenhof. Yeah, I think unfortunately we do need to do defences here. And can get this up to tier 3. Yeah, I think that's a priority. More time. Get that upgraded. Yeah, Templehof and Drakenhof both have these building slots open that I haven't been using. I could go for a Spirit Well and at least one of them start recruiting Banshees. The mood's okay, right? Yeah. What's the deal with this minus five desolation? It seems to be everywhere. That's really weird. I don't know what triggered that at all. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any event. Oh well. Yeah, public order here is fine. I don't need to do any of these upgrades. Oh, Needling should get walls, actually. Right, yeah. Okay, Banshees will have to wait another turn. Prioritizing the walls. Okay, we don't actually have to worry about public order here. I could start the income building. But I think this 1900 probably needs to go somewhere else instead. Like... There. Mordheim and Essen need walls, for sure. Public order shouldn't be too bad once I take Bechtrafen because my stack of characters and all their public order boosts will just be hanging out in the in the region. Okay, I think I sit on this gold. I don't... Yeah. Spending it for some extra income, I guess, is the alternative. Or the thing I could do. We'll get quite a lot of gold next turn from taking out the... Taking out the Zuff bar. So maybe I should just spend what I have... On something economy related. So let's see. Vert bird. So in terms of vampire corruption, we're doing fine here. I have one corruption building here that I'm upgrading. I don't think I need another one here, so this can just be more income. Yeah, I mean, I want to be getting this building down basically wherever I can. For the low tier, uh, the minor settlements, it's the best you can do in terms of money. Alright, that's everything, except let me... Yeah, just want to make sure I have mounts unequipped for the siege. Okay, that looks fine. I really haven't made too much an effort to increase my capacity for vampires. I'm sort of waiting on, you know, eventually getting the building that... Uh, Boosts Lord Recruit rank. There's a few of them, but this is... Yeah, this is one. Because um, then I can just recruit disband Lords to increase Vampire capacity, no problem. I don't think lack of Vampires is really a limitation here. I could be... I mean, if I had more Vampires and stronger armies, I could be fighting wars on multiple fronts, but... I'm quite happy with how things are progressing. Just slowed the pace down a little. We just have quite a lot of territory, like, logistically, you know, we don't really want to be, uh, fighting people at different sides. Let's see if this gave an attack us. I guess that's a big question mark here. Um, picked up some magic items. Yeah, let's just throw that onto... Yeah, the ones who are ranked 40 or have immortality I'm less concerned about. Let's maybe just give this Necromancer armor. Alright, that'll do. So that was great. They just came over to head somewhere else. Good. I guess they're going after the, dwarf, the remaining dwarf sediment here, Mount Gumbad. Scheme of Doom, performed by Clan Mulder and Clan Spittle. Well, hopefully it's not going to be affecting us.
Huh. And this army... Oh, interesting. This army of Zuffa actually... Use the underway to hang out by Kragmere. For the wisdom of Valaya. All right. Well, they don't have siege attack here. Oh, and I but I don't have walls. Shoot. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're going to be losing. Well. Hold on. No, it's okay. I can just... I can delay attacking Zephbar and attack this army first instead. Yeah. That, that works out okay, I think. It's funny that they did that. Anyway, whatever. I knew the way. Okay, if I make this attack. All shall right. I guess I have to actually you prepare war on them. Approach a lord of the Dowie in such a manner. Oh, I should have gone through Grimgor to do that actually. Oh well, it doesn't matter too much. I might have been able to get some a little gold or something out of Grimgor. Pro probably not. Thinking about it. Okay. So I think this army is probably going to withdraw. Yep. Can I catch them? Yes, I think so. Yes, great. I am unstoppable. You fool! All right. So this this works out fine. We take out half their troops this turn, and then. Go after Zuthbar next turn. That's fine. And see if I. Your wish, master. Find me, channel pits. Oh wait a second. Probably can't get that necromancer into the army just yet. Do you need fresh troops? Necropolis awaits. Oh shoot, that didn't work. Yeah, it's always that silly juggling act with. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, that's so irritating. Yeah, so I just messed this up by moving Isabella part way. Yeah, now no one can actually attack this army. Little movement things like that just irritate me so much. So I, yeah, I needed to just it ignore this nice. necromancer and have Isabella just take nice the route she wanted to at the beginning. And for some reason, the alternative just cost too much movement. I thought I was moving it basically on the straight way there. All right, so this turn was just moved up here for no reason. All right, well we can make the attack at Betchafen and wipe out. Ostermark at least. It's not like the dwarves are going to build up and get scary in Zuffbar, it's just a case of kind of how many turns it's using. Alright, so I do not have Lightning Strike yet. So I feel like I kind of want to just attack the settlement and fight the siege battle rather than the battle in, in the open. Um, is that true? Hold on. No. Handgunners, halberdiers, great swords. Yeah, decent garrison. Never. Not possible. Maybe I should fight them in the open. Impossible. I cannot. Well, maybe I can get two battles out of it by fighting them in the open and then in the city. Yeah, let's try that. So I'll make the attack against the army that's not in the settlement. If they withdraw, that, that's fine. They did not withdraw. Okay. So, provided I don't wipe out the settlement, I get a second battle, which is relevant because that gives me a second chance to do a second, like, shot at the healing limit. 
and also a second lot of experience. So yeah, I think this is the best way to do it. So let's see, they only have... yeah, the garrison's fine. Yeah, this is more like the armies I was fighting at the beginning of the campaign that aren't so artillery heavy. So I have the option again of... Okay, so all the reinforcements are coming from this direction, actually. So that's basically their entire army. I think in this case I'd rather sit back and do my healing and just let the enemy advance in whatever formation they want and just set up a static position and then I can advance and use magic on them. I don't think there's a great deal to gain from um, trying to just intercept their troops here right away, especially when I've got, you know, I want to have just a chance to sit and do healing. so much magic I think I can just drop down an invocation in the heck rather than letting the uh, passive regen do all the work. Okay, yeah, tons of arcane conduit. So what are we looking at? They've kind of deployed up over this way, that's fine. Oh, the mortars, the artillery is actually sort of lagging behind. Let's get, see if Manfred can actually go after them. He's not at full health, but I'm not too concerned. There's actually relatively few missile units in this army, especially compared to what I fought last turn. Okay, they're not going to let him actually get to those artillery pieces, so yeah, it's fine. I really would like to drop a Wind of Death down the, the main battle line. Does it look like I have an opportunity to do that? I probably would do it against the handgunners here, actually. I think the handgunners are definitely the scarier of the small arms missile units. Lots of armor piercing, maybe a bit more accurate. So better against single entities. Necromancer. Everywhere is death. Swift as death's wings. All right. So the living will join us. What I want is to do this. Hello. Hold on a second. Yeah, he's more or less going to be in range soon. I'm not quite getting that straight along the line, am I? I think I need to target it slightly more. Yeah, there we go. This should be better. Yeah, so he's getting shot a bit, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't aim that properly in the end. I was trying to get it to go down the uh, the back line and hit the third handgun unit too, but it did the job right. I don't know how many kills that was, but it was a lot. Yeah, 222. Just have Manford fly over there. Army for now. I can actually go for another overcast wind of death. While well, their infantry is static. Yeah, that's going to do a lot of damage too. Me. 
Okay, now it's just a question of getting into combat with whatever we can. Shades down. We are immortal. We are the new order. We are immortal. All right, Manfred attracting a bit too much attention again. Uh, sort of stone did pretty horrible amounts of damage. A lot of fleeing empire troops here. Yeah, so they're just sort of throwing what's left of their troops into melee here while also shelling them with the Hellstone rocket battery. Not the best strategy, I think, but I don't mind it. Yeah, they're running away. There's another Empire hero or Lord in the middle that we can take out, yep. Man, the AI is definitely very quick to readjust and uh, focus their missile fire on big stuff like the dragon. It kind of makes sense, I suppose. Can't really fault them for it. damage. Okay, this guy's breaking. All life must end. We are the new Yeah, definitely having issues with the healing cap on the Necromancer's again. I wonder if in the late game I just sort of transition into full vampire stacks. Honestly, could could be the best option, I think. Yeah, it looks like that's the army losses. There we go, okay. So I think we killed the enemy general who was actually the guy we were attacking here. So the rest of their troops will survive and sort of flee back into the city, what's left of them. And we can just follow up and kill them later this turn. Not dead. Am I? Yeah, I guess we maybe should just try and finish off some of the more annoying units if we can. Catch that unit. Vampire, I thirst. I'm not sure that I actually, yeah, I'm not sure that the Hellstone rocket battery 
is even worth trying to take out here because they did so much damage to their own infantry. But in the siege battle, that's not going to be happening. I think in the siege, I can see them being a little more annoying. We, I think we killed like, I want to say the majority of their missile units and probably closer to 80-90% of their melee units. Yeah, alright. I'm going to stop bothering to chase him down and just get Manfred healed up as much as possible and then just end the battle. Yeah, he's got quite a lot of health to heal up just because of the dragon giving him the extra... Oh, okay. Didn't manage to get him healed to full, but that's alright. Yeah, so this guy actually got killed. That's big because he um, he was the one outside the city. So that means if I win the battle against the city, the whole faction's gone. They won't survive with like a few troops that could somehow be annoying or whatever. And yes, I don't know, 60% of the army there are other troops taken out. The true cast oh, that's a nice ward save item. Let's maybe just get that onto Manfred right away. Alright, so let's do these level ups, then go for the siege. Level 20. Immortality? Yeah, sure. I'm not going to be particularly fussy about who I give immortality to, as I've talked about before. Okay. So this should be a pretty easy battle. I think I'll stop recording for now and tackle this at the beginning of the next part. Too bad I um, slightly messed up movement wise against Zufbar, so those dwarves get to live another turn. But I think in the long run it's not going to be a problem. Alright, well thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next part.